Good morning guys. It is 5.15 in the morning. I am on my way to the gym. Feeling wide awake and really good. I looked at my sleep last night, my Fitbit. I didn't move at all. So the CPAP machine is definitely doing me some good. And uh, I think I think it was a right decision to, um, to get back on it. Because I feel like wide awake. <laughs> so I um, got six hours of sleep, which is my perfect sleep window for me and uh yeah gonna go do some squats hopefully because i've been having a lot of problems with my hip um so hopefully i'll be able to warm it up and get some squats in the number one reason why you should always keep some extra cash in your gym bag is when you run out of the house early in the morning and forget to bring your water luckily my gym has a vending machine with water in it Halfway through my workout, and I realized my shirt's inside out. I'm not used to working out early <laughs> at all. All right, guys, so it is the next day, and I ended up not being able to finish my video yesterday simply because the day just got away from me and really didn't end up as I thought it would. As far as the workout was concerned, it just wasn't the best workout that I've had, in my opinion. Um, and a lot of what it had to do with was just my body just feeling very weak, very um, tired, very sore. I haven't been in the gym probably in like two weeks. So it's almost as if you're kind of like starting over is really how it felt. Um, so I did squats, did lightweight squats, just worked up to 125 and did a three set of three for that. I also have been having issues with, with my hip, so I didn't want to do anything too heavy and, or, you know, and aggravate it even more than it already is. Um, so did that and then ended up doing the leg press. I started out with 90, 90 pounds and then I think I added another 50, so that ended up being... 140 uh, yeah um, so again like super lightweight and then I did probably like three sets of 10 with the 90 pounds and then two, two sets of 10 with the 140 and by the time that I was done with that um, my hips started to feel um, started to feel like a pinching feeling um, so I decided to not push that any further and then did some quad extensions and some hamstring curls but really I just Overall, I just felt like my body was weak and um, it was kind of frustrating to be honest that uh, you know that I just haven't been able to go to the gym like I wanted to. I do keep track of how many times I go to the gym um, just for my own goals. Like a, a goal that I have this year is to go to the gym more times than not. So I have a calendar like I, I mark like you know X's off on the days that I go and for the month of April I only went 10 times in the whole month so looking back on that like it's super frustrating that I just let things get to me the way that they did so um, food wise yesterday probably was not the best day like it started out as a great day but um, yesterday after work Kelly picked me up we went to the hospital and saw her mom and then her mom transferred to the new facility that she's going to be at for the next eight weeks and we pretty much stayed at that facility until we knew that she was getting her medicine that she was in the system that everything else was set which was probably like 10 10 30 by the time we left we didn't eat dinner and by the time that we got home i was so exhausted that i just didn't eat dinner i just went to bed so probably not the best thing to do but um it is what it is and then today food has actually not been that bad I've actually um, did not eat anything extra than what I had packed and um, and so I feel really good about that and feel really positive about the choices that I made today and really trying to figure out you know why am I letting food control me the way that it is and that's something that I've really been trying to to figure out and why it's such a comfort kind of thing. Um, I didn't go to the gym this morning simply because we got home late and I didn't wake up in time. So I didn't go to the gym this morning. Hopefully I'll be able to go um, this evening. I'm not really sure. Right now I'm actually headed to the chiropractor to get my hip checked out because it is 
it, it is bothering me so bad. I feel like my right hip is so out of line that I just need to pop back in place. Um, I tried to like bend my leg to put my shoe on this morning and it was like a pinching feeling um, in like in my back. So like right where my hip is. So I'm gonna go get that checked out and I will check in with you guys after I go see the chiropractor. All right guys, so I just got back from the chiropractor. Um, basically what's going on with my back is that my hips are shifted um, or my pelvic bone is, is shifted. Uh, and so it's causing a lot of discomfort in the right side. And it actually appears that my left leg is longer than my right simply because of the how much my um, my pelvic bone is shifted. So luckily I didn't have to have x-rays. They figured out the problem before they had to do that. Um, this place was really like old school. So um, the place that a chiropractor I'd been to before was like really modern. And this place was pretty old school, which I, I really liked. I felt like, you know, he'd been doing it for a long time and knew what he was talking about. Um, so they did like this therapy, which they had these like electrode pads that were like this big and they put them on my back and it shot like, I don't know, it, it like electric, I don't know, it was like electric massage pad things. Um, and I pretty much just laid there and didn't get on my phone and didn't do anything, but just kind of focus on how it feels and almost meditate in a way. And when I was done, it was, it was there, I was there for 20 minutes. And when I was done, I was so relaxed that like, I felt like I almost fell asleep. And uh, I, was, I felt like I was walking down the hall kind of sideways just because I was so relaxed and out of it, which was really nice and, um, you know, kind of a change for the way that things have, things have been. And uh, after that, he did an adjustment on my lower back and, uh, and that was that. So we're going to treat it kind of aggressively. It is a recurring problem. So uh, it's something that um, might come back simply because of this, what's going on. But uh, we're going to treat it aggressively and I'm going to go back for the next two days. So that way, um, hopefully by Monday, I will be back in business and, and good to go. Uh, I'm going to take tonight off from the uh, from the gym just, just because I just got an adjustment and I don't want to really aggravate it any more than it already is. So I'm going to take tonight off from the gym. Um, not really sure what Kelly and I are doing for dinner. She's still with her mom trying to figure things out. And, uh, and so I'm, I am here going to, going to chill, probably going to edit this video and get it ready for you guys. And that, that's, that's that. And, um, you know, each and every day is a little bit different. Like we don't know what happens from one day to the next. And so that's why I feel like the title, you know, of the video, um, making adjustments really kind of fits not in the literal, not necessarily in the literal sense of my back, but just in the sense of, of each and every day, like you have to be flexible and you have to make adjustments each and every day. And that is our new normal. Our new normal right now is being flexible and being willing to, um, change your plans, you know, when, when things happen. So that is what, that's what we're going through and that's what's up. So, so thank you guys so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one.